I'm Mark Hawkins from Voight and Electric. This is Tommy Rice. We're here to explain about the AK-25 breakers. A uh, little bit of knowledge about these things is uh, the old style. This is the old style first generation breaker which had the old overcurrent trip devices. They're known to be nuisance. This one here is leaking oil. You'll have noose and tripping. They're, our suggestion is if you have these, get away from them and go to a retrofit breaker, which is better because to get these calibrated back in, you'll have more time and money in them than what you would to uh, replace them. We have numerous parts laying here. We have the secondary bracket and secondaries which we carry some of this stuff. Uh, we have bow alarms. This breaker here that I'm standing beside is an AK-2 breaker. The one Tommy is standing by is the AK-2A. The difference is, is the rails here on the side versus the rails here on the side. That's the difference between the AK-2 and an AK-2A. This breaker here is a manual operated breaker. It has a handle on the front of it. To open and close the breaker, on Tom standby is electric operated. Which it would hold, it would take this to manually close it. Some of the parts that the electric has is it has a relay on it. It has a closing coil. Some of them will have two relays like this one has here. One is your anti-pump. This keeps it, prevents the breaker from closing after it best tripped out until the relay clears. The other parts are your auxiliaries, your shut trip bracket, which is underneath. Some of them have UVRs they all mount underneath here. The other parts we have are the retrofit kits, different styles and different makes. Most of these are GE. This is the first generation, which is a power sensor, which is obsolete. They make an SST, the ECS, the RMS-9, which is this one here. on the end, and then the Microversa Trip Plus. Plus they make a uh, Plus MPM, which is the next model up from this one. And each one of these will have a different letter on the front of the breaker. So if it would say AK5 across here, AK285, that means it's going to be an SST programmer. It should be right in here. On your label. On your label. And also on your label, there for if it's electric, it will have your wire diagram number to tell you what, what it's wired to and give you all the actual diagram for all the wiring. We also make an AC Pro kit that we deal a lot with. We do not have one sitting here, but we do deal with AC Pro kits that if you needed an AC Pro, which comes in a different style, this one here is uh, another style, it's on this breaker, which is a Cutler Hammer style programmer. It's a uh, Digitrip, I think it's a 500 or a 510 maybe. Actually it's an 810, which has got the uh, digital readout in it. The difference between the AK-2 electric and the AK-2 or these brackets here. This won't fit on an AK-2. Hey, so this one here will only fit on an AK-2. So this is an AK-2A bracket here. And 
you'll have them up on the top too, where this one, up, or K2, you only have them on the bottom, or on the sides. Do you have any questions of anything that we have here in front of us, or any parts that you have relating to the breakers, or any parts that you might be inquiring about, go to info at voiden.com, send pictures, and we'll help you out as much as we can. Thank you.